The San Gabriel Valley is the suburban region east of downtown Los Angeles, contained by the San Gabriel Mountains to the north, the Puente Chino Hills to the south, and depending on who you ask, the San Bernardino County line to the east. While I've lived here for several years, I'm far from having explored the entire region, though I may have just found the perfect excuse to do some of that. We're here at California Polytechnic University, Pomona, and we're going to visit every 99 cents only store in the San Gabriel Valley because they announced they're going out of business and oh no, the nostalgia, but also me and my cataclysmically neurotic mind interpreted this as a sign that the world is ending. So we better strike while the iron is hot or in the words of the Fresh Prince, might as well kick it. We're waiting for either the 195 or the 480 because we're going to the one in the south part of Pomona which is really not in South Pomona, but it's the south of the two 99 cent stores in Pomona on Holtz and San Antonio. And this one, I wanted to get it out of the way first because I've had a bad experience in that shopping center and I'll talk about that more later. This street corner is a transfer point for a lot of routes. And the problem is if you're going to downtown Pomona, two of the routes board on that side and two of them board right here, except the 195 here takes a really circuitous route but they are kind of frequent enough that it doesn't matter. This way will require a little bit more walking than if we had the 195, but we'll actually get there faster. Oh hey, there's the recently abandoned right-of-way of the Alhambra subdivision that we should build the train station on. Oh man, how are we gonna do it? What's going on? I say recently abandoned, but Union Pacific still uses it to store bear tables and boxcars on. Well, here we get a nice view of the Alhambra sub and then the LA sub and a fake water tower that's actually a cell phone tower. I once went up here to go rail fanning and someone called the cops on me thinking I was going to commit suicide standing on a bridge. That was kind of embarrassing on their part. I decided that I'd walk from Mission in San Antonio because it would be faster than walking from Holt and East End, which is where the bus would go, and which would also be faster than waiting at Pomona Transit Center to transfer to the 195 or the Omnitrans 61, which I don't even have exact change for right now. So we're doing this. It's only a few blocks. I was going to hit the crosswalk button, but it seems like this signal is malfunctioning because probably it got crashed into. And I hit the crosswalk button anyway like an idiot. Hashtag ride finds? No. There's your UP mainline shot. Now I wanted to get this 99 cent store out of the way first because I had a bad experience in this shopping center once and that is one of my bikes got borrowed from it. Huckleberry Finn style. It has a creep factor of about five because of that. And even the person on city council once told me that this is the worst shopping center in the city because all the pimps and people hang out here or whatever, but you know me, this isn't one of those channels. Number one. Oh no, copyright pollution. Gonna go with my old standby. This one's funny because the store has the old logo, but the sign has the new logo. I find it funny that those palm trees are so tall that they're practically blocking it. And now off to the next one. And since the 292 doesn't run on the weekends, we're gonna have to double back to Pomona Transit Center to get the 197. Sad face, Foothill, sad face. And there's the 195, so I don't have to pay money. Now if the 291 is before the 197, I'm taking that. I couldn't pass up a zero minute transfer to the 291, even though it means a bit more walking. Thank you. All right, we got Gary and Aero. Kind of close to the Pomona North Transit Center. I always get mixed up with this 99 cent store. I keep thinking it's on this street corner, but it's actually a block east on town, which is where we're gonna walk to. Oh, distraction. So good, so good. Over there is the Pomona Skate Park at Palomares Park. As mentioned in the Patreon exclusive 2018 Pomona Citywide Grotsill Edition trip. 
number two old logo. This one's pretty big. Because who isn't thinking about pumpkin spice in April? Sweet. And now to wait for the 197, which would have been the same 197 we would have got if we didn't take the initiative on the 291. Saved a whole hour there. Let's go. Omnitrans bus yard. I realized I could have transferred to the 492 in Claremont, but you know I felt like coming here because you know why? This is really cool. And there's actually a 99 cent store right next to Montclair Transit Center, but that doesn't count since we're technically not in the San Gabriel Valley anymore. But if I stopped in Claremont, I would have missed out on this. Door locked. Your maximum use time is 10 minutes. Press button to unlock door. It's not the smooth jazz like El Monte. This sounds like some Henry Mancini. And just like that, 492, almost ready to go. Uh oh, broke bike hinges. Quick, call the maintenance. That's cracked. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Over on the north end is the right-of-way of the former Pacific Electric Railroad that is now a bike trail. There's the one we're skipping. Right across from, could that be a mall? Passing Claremont Metrolink again, since I didn't film it the first time on the 197. Old Town Laverne. Oh, car show. I like how they rented U-Haul trucks as barricades. Well, San Dimas will be getting a Metro A-Line station over there. A new great separation. We here. The city notoriously modeled itself after Knott's Berry Farm, where all the street signs are in that Wild West font. And you gotta be different, I guess. I just realized I was walking in the drive through for Del Taco. Now this shopping center also has Vitamin City. So if we have time, maybe we stop there. Number three. This is the first one they actually have store closing signs on it. It's visibly way more crowded in here than the last two. Sorry, Vitamin City, that line was way too long. Running shots are funny, right? Okay, I think I made it. I wonder if the benches at the new A-Line station are gonna be like this too. So quaint. So I'm trying to buy one thing at every store. Big! And that's what I got. Yeah, the 99 cent store going out of business was pretty big news to me, because this was like my favorite store as a kid. It was the only store that my mom would let me buy literally anything I wanted, because back then, they were true to their rule of nothing over 99 cents ever. So I would like deck out my bedroom with all this stuff. Like I was obsessed with diners, so I would buy my own sets of silverware. I would always deck out my room for Easter with the decorations in springtime. And of course chocolate, lots of chocolate. I actually found my first rap album there, which was Inglewood's Finest by Looney Tune and Mike T, which for some reason they just had a whole bunch of new old stock of that album and also the chutzpah CD, the Jewish rap group. Looks like my bus is late. Number four. My step has been watched. This feels like it's going on slow, but we're actually getting to one store or more per hour. Number four. This one feels like a hardware store for some reason. 
classic. Balloon purgatory. I must point out that this was the first of two stores in a row where I saw people pushing around a dog in a stroller. Is this an accepted cultural practice or am I just an animal hater? Walking on down Citrus Ave with my good apple juice in hand. I met someone at the beach who once told me I looked like a gangster with this vest on. I guess it kind of looks like a bulletproof vest. I'm not a gangster, I just don't know how to dress. Help the homeless, donate your house here. Gotta love the chunks of tree suspended by the cable wires when they chopped down the tree but the cable was stuck in it. Speaking of wood, free futon bed slats. The question was wait 20 minutes for the 291 or just start walking. And I felt like walking. It's becoming apparent that I'm not gonna beat the bus there, so I might as well jump in the ride. Why were people using like 16 penny nails to hang signs on the telephone pole? Not the best visibility here, huh? Citrus Avenue and Baseline Road. Thank you. Oh crap, is the line all the way out the door? Really? Number five. No, I'm not going in this one. Between people having to wait outside the store to get in and the annoying petitioners who can't decide whether they want me to help the firefighters or the kids with cancer, I'm not interested in hanging around there. Anyways, we're keeping going to the next one. And for our next one, we get to take the light rail. Yay! Um, hey, it's not the gold line anymore. It's supposed to be blue. We're in college territory up here. I hope the rest of them going forward aren't that hostile, because that one literally had signs on the window saying, items are priced as marked. Please do not harass cashiers. So, Easter egg? Oh, Tootsie Roll, I don't want it. I'm failing to see the function of this gate when, on the other side, it, it's the same thing but not gated. To stop rock climbing? Oh, whoops, I hit floor three and the platform's on floor two and it doesn't say that. Wait, does that mean the platform's on floor two and a half? No, it's two. Let's get it. The next stop is... The District Downtown Station. That was some good timing. We're going to Duarte. Then we have to wait for 20 minutes over here. I must say this has got to be the most pleasant bus stop experience I've had on this trip so far. Owing largely to the sheer lack of traffic on this street, but also this lovely view of the mountains, this nice landscaping at the City of Hope Hospital. There's a nice breeze blowing through. Just chilling. Whoa, this really dated looking grocery store facade. It's for lease if anyone wants it. All right, I'm feeling really good about this one. It seems unhostile, except it's crowded. I think it's time. I might have just missed both buses I wanted. Maybe not. Jaywalking on Route 66 for 500, Mr. Trebek. I'm sure this is what they meant by get your kicks on Route 66, right? Not my bus. I was originally planning to take the 272 back to the A-Line station and take that west to Arcadia, but it seems I missed that, so the next best option is to take the 187 west, which will actually get me a little bit closer. Okay, I'm pretty sure I missed the 272, so on to the 187. Missed the 187. It's time for lunch. Let's go. I 
didn't realize the bus had a smoking problem. Grade separation. Apparently that bus stop was not on Santa Anita. But there's a nice park. Maybe restroom opportunities with minimal jaywalking on Route 66. Well, you couldn't have picked a more pleasant piece of land to walk through. We're in LA Metro territory here. And whoa, that Denny's some fancy architecture. Well, that wasn't very far. Thank you. Just gotta walk a few blocks east. We'll be there. Oh, for some reason I thought this one was on the north side of the street. It's not like we're in any hurry. The next bus isn't for one hour. I mean, aesthetically speaking, I think Arcadia is the nicest looking city we've been in today. No disrespect to San Dimas and their Wild West theme. Number seven. The shopping center is kind of interesting. It's a little bit below grade, below street level. Number seven. I don't know, this one's pretty big. I want something to drink that isn't some variation of apple juice. Nice. This was the choice. Oh, I guess this would have been the most non-awkward way to film the store, but it's through a window. I don't think I've ever seen a gas station with an Italian market. Bus stop is right in front of the Arcadia Public Library. Oh, nice footage. Had these nice flowers and this big oak tree. That's kind of neat how you can see the shadow of that one cloud right there on the mountain. Thirty-seven minutes late. Free smushed donuts. Why is the bus bench so far away from the sign? Ah, uh, who cares at this point? Since we're boarding at the terminus, we get this cool loop around shot. Heading that away. It's not really the kind of place you would expect to see one. Kind of in a downtown of a city. Number eight. Well, it's definitely the most interesting one is there's a back door and a front door with checkouts at each one. Actually, this arrangement doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I got some sopes and some guac. And I'm glad I went back and checked because I almost bought the spicy. Because I don't do spicy that good. So not used to seeing downtown strips like this with multiple doors and then huge parking lots on the back. That's so cool. Oh, the parking lot also shared with a park. That's pretty neat. We're back on the 78. I feel like Alhambra has a downtown that's on par with, say, Oceanside, minus the beach. Approaching Maine and Earth, followed by Maine and Atlantic. Someone applying too many effects pedals to the CCTV. Thank you. Uh, we have to walk. Uh, we're here on the former Pacific Electric right-of-way, which is explaining this gigantic median esplanade thing. I'm feeling good about this one. All right, I got my guac, I got my sopas, which I hope were actually pre-cooked, and I'm thirsty again, so we're gonna probably find some more apple juice or coconut or whatever. Oh look, it's the type of housing that the urbanist YouTubers won't shut up about. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Free table and chair. Ooh, it's our first full rebrand which they should have done years ago when they stopped making everything only 99 cents. Free motor oil. Number nine. Yeah, it's probably the cleanest one. They definitely went all out on the rebranding. Isn't that a city in Pennsylvania or something? Either way, 
the funniest thing I saw in there was someone was buying an entire shopping cart full of those glass Martin and these apple ciders. You buy them at a donut shop, they charge like $3 each. We're heading over to Fremont Avenue to catch some bus up to Figueroa. I've reached the point where I'm like, I don't even know where I am. I'm just following the bus routes and the map that I drew up. It took like four hours to map out, I'm serious. And I still don't think I did that good of a job. It could have been optimized a lot better. All right, we're gonna take the 258 to York and Figueroa Highland Park. I don't know if that's technically the San Gabriel Valley, but we're going there anyways. Bus! Hey, that's the exact intersection we're going to. station but it doesn't matter because you couldn't see it anyways thank you wow another rebranded one i feel like they were more serious about rebranding the ones closer to la i always thought that was funny open nine days a week the stink smell of funnel cakes number 10. yeah rebranded looks just like the other one pretty crowded at the checkout Got some beans and some sauerkraut to go with the rest of those sopes because I know the guac's gonna run out before them. And I'm actually trying to make my own sauerkraut, so here's like the litmus test to compare how good it is. Now we're gonna catch some bus to Highland Park Station. Um, I think it's beyond the hour of comprehending new transit systems, so I'm just gonna walk. Okay. Sweet free college pass. About to get the A-line to Pasadena. Alright, we're on the A-line to Pasadena. Alright, we're in Pasadena, Memorial Park. We're gonna get the bus 40. Pasadena City Hall looks really overbuilt, but hey, it makes a statement. And I just missed the 40 because I neglected to jaywalk, so we're just gonna walk the whole way. Free bagel. There's the 210, there's the A-line tracks as they go into the tunnel over there. Looks like some balcony extension work. And there it is, number 11. This one's pretty averagely sized. It's kind of L-shaped. What's this, IHOP? That ain't pancakes. I got another Martinelli's because it's party time. We're more than halfway done. And there's a few ways to the next one. Personally, I don't feel like walking back, so we're gonna wait for either the 662 or the Pasadena 40, right over there. Hmm, walking does start looking more appealing now that there's real-time information. That's 24 minutes, might as well chill out. Hey, hashtag ride for Rosa. Cheers to halfway. There's both possible buses I could take, but going the other direction. No way, Pasadena was store number seven? That's gotta be the lowest number we've hit so far. Now I need to look up where the first one was. Wait, how is it northbound if we're going south? Sounds like I didn't do my research. Oh, it's a circular route, that would explain that. Thank you. We're wondering what this orange stripe down the middle of the road is for. And my guess would be it's for the marching bands in the Rose Parade, so they know where their formation's supposed to be. I got in the 10, the Pasadena one. I don't know if it was the right one. The Pasadena 10 would have been perfectly fine, even though I was waiting for the Metro 686 or Foothills 187, which would have taken me more direct. I like how the trees have fences around them for protection during construction. The part where I messed up was I got off at Lake instead of Allen. Yeah, it was one of those buses. As you can probably tell, Pasadena is well-renowned for its urbanism. 
and Colorado Boulevard is also Route 66. I'm on the wrong block. I'm supposed to go to Allen, not Lake. The great thing about Pasadena is if you find yourself calling the ambulance on yourself a lot, they have a subscription service for that. Save money. Hey, look, it's the California Institute of Technology. Also known as Caltech. Pasadena seats are all sideways, except for the back. Interesting. Thank you. Alright, this looks like the right intersection. Alright, at last, number 12. After a much needed bathroom break. So this one has this interesting side room and front and rear door. Let's check it out. Yeah, front door, rear door, weird side room. This one's definitely unique. The weird side room is the much picked through grocery section. It is time for salty snacks again. Oh my gosh, very necessary. Now we take the A line or the 187 to the 185 and we'll be on our way. And once again, we're gonna get the 10 or the 686 to the A-line on Allen. These freaking almonds are so salty that they're like painful to eat. Looks like it's the Metro. Line 686, New York and Allen Avenue. Hey look, Ma, I'm on TV. Where's the A-line station? I think it's in the freeway. I forgot that this station was in the middle of the freeway. I'm like, well, we're going to the station. Wait. Oh, perfect timing. I love it. Now I see why the 10 was so frequent. It's the shuttle service between the A-Line station and Pasadena City College. Hence why it's called Allen slash College Station. Whoa, real fare gates on the A-Line. That's unheard of. Everyone loves freeway median stations. This feels like the really most unprotected freeway median station I've been on. Like. Really, the fence is only that high, and it looks like there were screws for bolting on a gate at some point. But I guess not. Whoa, anime wraps on trains too. Dale. We're about to take advantage of the fact that the next two are both on the 185. Over there is the beer factory. Really, a brewery is the actual word. Let's ride. This one's a pretty long ride, so I'll probably try to get some sleep. Oh, that jasmine. Oh wait, we can smell that. smell it. Wow, look at those luxurious apartments. The shell of another store that went out of business, fresh and easy, still ain't been replaced. Oh hey, that's where Good Burger was filmed. Unfortunately, we're on the wrong side to see it, but yes, Peter's El Loco. And then, that's Mondo Burger. Oh hey, a rebranded one that's not in LA. This one's also got a weird side room and also a segmented middle aisle. The floor in the weird side room actually ramps up and kind of suggests that this used to be a separate unit that was annexed at one point. And as far as the rebranding goes, it's pretty thorough. I'm gonna have to skip buying anything there because I might miss the next bus if I wait in line. I wonder what the bus drivers think of the food truck guys parking behind them. Now there's a store I would consider an adequate substitute for the 99 once it is no more. Mm. When you see a tall white vehicle in the distance and think it's your bus, but it isn't. Off to Hacienda Heights. That's how they compensate. They park way ahead of it. I think I might have just run into one of my viewers on that bus. 
thanks for watching. I'm sorry, like I was so in the zone that the words that were spoken to me just were not comprehended. It was just over my head. Oh my gosh, we're here. Okay, Hacienda Heights, number 14. Heights. This one looked pretty massive on the outside, but it seems pretty average. In Foresight, I'm glad I'm doing this like really early in the game before it gets really cleaned out and looks depressing. I remember these being extremely salty. Let's try it. Oh, actually it was the blue packaged peanuts that were extremely salty. I was trying to overcompensate for the sheer intensity that I had to urinate in the Pasadena segment. Long story short, I should not have gone for the double scoop of malted chocolate barley milk ice cream in Pasadena during the Alan Fisher meetup, which was not on camera, but that is what happened and we dealt with the consequences of it. Anyhow, next we go into Roland Heights, which first we have to get to Puente Hills Mall, which we can either take the 185, the 282, the 281, or the 285, two of which board over here, two of which board across the street. And then from there, we get either the 482, the 289, or the 178 to Nogales Street. All right, ready, go. All right, Roland Heights. Yes, we're not in Morocco, but there's the sign for Casablanca, which I don't know if that even exists. It just is the sign. Free effigy candles. Also vote now in the comments of which logo you like better. Personally, I think the dated nostalgia one looks better because that's the one I'm familiar with. These Gen Z kids and their graphics that have no outlines and like only two colors or zero. The Red Baron wants to ride the fire truck. Number 15. I like the architecture on this one. It's really 70s or 80s. This one's pretty standard, fluorescent style. Oh, there's your effigy candles. How did they know? DJ lights? Get out of town. I swear I bought a set that looked just like that. Except just the 99 cent version. No way. Of course, who needs this when you can cast your own Aku Aku hood ornament? It was the last bag. Two pounds for two dollars. I almost don't want to comment on the most appalling thing that I saw in there. I don't think a candy company is in the position to be telling me someone's life matters. Hey, it was poison. We're gonna get the 178 to the next one on Amar and Azusa. I must point out the backs of these benches are at a really awkward angle. They're actually past 90 degrees, so it's a scalene angle. And then they have this ridge thingy on top that kind of pushes you even more forward. But for a bus bench, it's actually pretty solid. I like how that chunk of bamboo is just growing into the sign. That's great. As Miles pointed out in his live stream months ago, this is actually Foothill Transit's lowest numbered route. Route? 178. 178. Oh. oh, we got the seizure inducing dot stripes. 99 cents only stores, not to be confused with 99 Ranch Market. Totally different animal. By the way, right now we're passing through the city of Industry. <coughs> This street's fun to bike on, but it desperately needs a bike lane. Thank you. We're here on Amar and Azusa, next to McDonald's that has the Mac Tonight mural. The interesting part of that story is right down the street from here, I actually found a framed portrait of Mac Tonight. The place that's probably going to replace the 99 as my go-to for affordable snacks is right next to it. But I never shopped at grocery outlet for years mainly because they use the same font as that We Buy Ugly Houses billboard and it kind of turned me off. I love me some 70s era eucalyptus parking lots. Just look at the parking lot of uh, Escondido Transit Center. Number 16. This one has a bathroom, very necessary. Not the cleanest one I've ever been in, but very necessary. Oh hey, this one feels darker than average but I like the words on the wall back there. By the time I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have gone to so many of these stores that I won't be remotely sad that they're going out. That's the goal. Emphasis on me only buying drinks that don't have tons of added sugar to them. And this one jumped out because it says steel on it. We'll test it. And now we go to the northeast side to catch the 280. This bus stop might look familiar to the let's go biking on the freeway video. The one with the benches way too far away from the sign. It tastes like cough syrup. Seems some syrup. 
emphasis on the bench is being way too far away from this time. Approaching Aluta and Puente. Hoping I can swing this so I don't have to wait an hour for the 190. Stop requested. There it is. Thank you. Bus stop is there. The store is there. We have like 15 minutes. Running shots are funny, right? And the 17. Whoa, this one's huge. I need to get out soon. Okay, I think I didn't have to rush that badly. So this was Covina for those keeping score. How many different cities we've been in. I bought trash bags because that was the only thing I could think of that was relatively close to the checkout that I kind of need. And speaking of trash, keep Covina clean. Oh, gotta love the smell of old engine exhaust. Here we go. So taking this one to Baldwin Park. close to downtown Baldwin Park. Hey, and I need the opposite of water right now, if you know what I mean. Number 18. And just when I thought the last one was big, whoa. This one's so big, it has a segmented middle aisle. Trail mix time again? I think so. Ah, anti-jaywalking countermeasures. I hope that park can help me get the opposite of water. Metrolink rail station. Nice, the bathrooms were open. And I've got like 12 minutes before we hop back on the 178 to the last two at El Monte. Once again. The headquarters of some really popular burger chain is in Baldwin Park. Good biking. That was the welcome to El Monte sign. Cogswell seems like an unusual street for a bus to be going on. I mean that by it's a residential neighborhood with a lot of stop signs. Case in point. Now this last part's tricky because we have to take the El Monte trolley to the one in South El Monte, which runs at weird intervals. So it might make sense to do that one first and then walk to this one. Oh, gotta get the train track shot. There's one right there, but I think I'm gonna do this super slick MLG Pro transfer to the El Monte trolley and then get this one last. And if that doesn't work, this one's next. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh, except the stop isn't even right here. It's down there. <laughs> My goodness. I can't believe that worked. Welcome, my friends, to the world of Scatman. It's a cool little short bus. They got this like single seat right here. They have seat belts, but it doesn't look like anyone uses them. The trick is that this yellow bus is a circular route and it runs only every 40 minutes, so it might make more sense to walk back to the last one instead of waiting for the next one. Unless I can find some other route that I didn't notice. Hey. I think that route might be just get off wherever you want because there wasn't a sign there and I wanted to get off at Durfee thinking there was a sign there. We're pretty close. <laughs> yes, thanks. I like the name of that street, Fine View. I've been told there's a metal supply store around here I should check out. Alright, number 19, almost done. Um, nothing much to say about this one. Like, it seems pretty average for your non-rebranded ones. There's no way this is cast iron, it's way too light. I made an executive decision to not buy anything because the checkout was way too long and I need to get places. I'm making an executive decision to walk up Peck Road because the next trolley won't be for another half hour. 
and this is probably faster. And also that breeze feels so nice. That has got to be the most photogenic low quad tree I've ever seen. Walking in the streets and I'm stepping to the beats and you know I got the treats in my refrigerator. Is this El Monte's tile row? There's a better shot of that sign we passed earlier. It smells like citrus, I love it, oh. It tastes like one of those discontinued Kool-Aid flavors because it was too strong. Rainbow Twist, what would you expect? And since it's a non-recyclable Tetra Pack, I didn't have to pay CRV on it, eh. No, we could have taken Norwalk Transit Route 7, but it doesn't have service the day of the week that today is. There's some maps for you. Brick inlaid sidewalk to discourage wheelchair users. Garvey. Some of these trees can make you feel temporary like you're in a forest. Taking a shortcut on Meeker. It is the Meeker of the streets. And that has less traffic and it's faster. Organic sidewalk. Semi non-freeway on ramp street under the freeway. Free palm fronds. Generic mission revival, new suburban townhomes. Crosswalk in the middle of the block. Let's push the button, see if they stop. Crosswalk in the middle of the block. Push the button, see if they stop. Ooh, fancy CNC machine arrows. Oh, we're stalling time. Crosswalk, let's see if they stop. Oh my gosh, I could just die. Cause I didn't stop. We didn't die. Here's El Monte Civic Center, City Hall, Police Department, and all that stuff. With the bike rack that you can only lock a bike to like three of the letters out of that whole word. And there's the Statue of Liberty. You thought it was in New York, but it's right here. The final stage, Scatland. I mean El Monte. Those purple awnings haven't really aged that well in the sun. This one's pretty big. Well, I appreciate the giant Scatman John Memorial on the back wall. Oh man, no more hikers trail mix. Classic. Hey, it was poison. Um, what? And that's it, 20 stores. It actually took three days. You can probably tell by the seeming lack of continuity in the daylight. Now it's time to party. Wow, that trip was insane. A few days after I filmed that, there was news that some investors might be trying to buy out the 99 cent store and prevent it from going out of business. Way to undermine the entire premise of this video. But at the very least, if that happens, we'll have some good before and after footage. Since we went to so many stores, I thought we'd do a little bit of ranking. Biggest store, definitely Baldwin Park. That one was just massive. Also, I would give best location to Baldwin Park because it's right next to the downtown, the Metrolink station, and also that massive park. It just felt like a very good place to be. Temple Cities was also like that, but more condensed since it was right in the middle of downtown and it had that park behind it. I don't know why, but I really liked the Arcadia store, even though it was nothing special. Just something about how the parking lot was halfway underground made it really cool. Best looking store on the outside? I would say it's a toss up between San Dimas and Roland Heights. It really just depends whether you like log cabins or 70s strip malls. And favorite snack item? Hiker's Trail Mix. That's probably the only thing that has papaya in it that I actually like. And it always satisfies. Best drink? Not the cough syrup. Just anything Martinelli's. The coconut water was good too. I don't know why I'm ranking only stuff that I'm gonna buy. Best bus stop? Duarte, City of Hope, really any bus stop that was on a street that didn't have tons of traffic, which was actually very few of them. What else can we rank? Best free item on the side of the road? Uh, free cat? 